Hi, this is Jonathan. Today we're going to feature this guitar from Bacchus. This is a Telecaster from Bacchus. This is a Bacchus BTE1M BBD.
If you're new to this channel, you might just want to subscribe to this channel and press that bell for notifications of future videos and be part of Patreon to support this channel. I want to thank Miss Jeanette from Davis Guitar for passing me this guitar for review. Um, I was browsing their website and I saw this guitar and uh, Bacchus comes out uh, with a lot of affordable guitars, you know, the strats, the tallies and all that. This is more of a traditional kind of looking tally with the blonde finish and everything but this is an urethane uh, finish except for the neck which is satin bare and the fretboard which is satin bare so basically you have a hardwood uh, body now, I have no idea what is a hardwood I'm probably going to uh, google and probably put it on here so uh, they have another version that has poplar for its body but this is hardwood you have a maple neck in a satin finish like I said and a maple fretboard now I'm not sure about the fret radius of this neck because there's no information given I'm guessing it's about 10 uh, 10 inch fret radius and you have like um, jumbo frets right these are not stainless steel you have a net width of 42 mm which I measured uh, I'm not sure about the net material it's probably some kind of ABS kind of net and then you have a string tree right here and very um, normal um, tuners from Bacchus, right? non-locking at all. You have a black um, pick guard, three-way selective switch, very traditional, one volume, one tone. Here you have the uh, ashtray kind of, uh, of a uh, bridge with um, three saddles, and those three types. And unfortunately, these are not like brass. These are all like stainless steel. And then you have these two very traditional uh, looking and sounding uh, tele pickups for the neck as, as well as for the bridge. Um, I'm going to talk to you about how it sounds like later on. You have a four screw uh, neck joint here. String through, right, to the bridge. And that's about it. Now the guitar weighs like, I don't know, about 3.4, 3.4 kg, roughly around that which is a nice half to it, uh, not terribly heavy. Guitar is manufactured in China. And as far as can see, the workmanship is really something. I mean, it's really well made. Yeah. Cool. I like it. I, I like the way that it's been done. There's no flaws in it whatsoever. Now, gone are the days when you get like, uh, you know, little flaws here and there. You know, back in the days, we're talking about like seven years ago, as near as five years ago. You know, you, you had like flaws from the China make guitars, or even from the Vietnam make guitars, as well as the Indonesia make guitars. Now, all these countries have improved tremendously, and their womanship has, like, you know, improved leaps and bounds. And this is something that I'm seeing right now here, uh, flawless, really flawless. Great, great. Um, I don't know what, I'm thinking that this could be base wood. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure about this. It says hardwood, but I'm thinking that this is base wood. It looks like base wood. Um, all right, the pickups. Now, these are very traditional uh, kind of uh, uh, tele pickups, uh, although there's no brand to it. It's probably an OEM brand, but to keep the cost down. Now, I like the neck pickup. The neck pickup sounds really nice, really sweet. Uh, not much of a mid-range response. And nice, nice low, and then you kind of scoop a little bit in the mid, and then you have the highs, which is just nice. Now, the bridge pickup is bright. Right, it doesn't have that weight that I'm, I'm looking for in a tally pickup. This is like, it just like flat and then it goes up a little bit. So you have a flat response and then you have a, a, a emphasis on the high ends. Which is okay because you can still uh, manipulate the sound with your amp, with your EQ or with your whatever processors that you're using. And you can still get away with some nice tally tones, which I, I did, you know, on, on a song, on a demo too. So they're not that bad. It's just, I prefer a, a, a little bit more chunkier uh, bridge pickup for a tally. But then again, you can have everything, right? So with that cost of this guitar, you know, this this is like what? 265 Singapore dollars is about 189 US. 
you know, it's a really great platform if you are, are thinking of modding it, like, you know, getting Seymour Duncan pickups for this or whatever pickups you, you desire, the bare buckles or whatever, the Sir pickups, you know. And it will make a really good playing uh, Telecaster. I like the neck. The neck has probably a thin C neck profile, which is really nice, really comfortable. Yeah. What do you think? Let me know what you think about this guitar and leave a comment in the comment section down below. Now, Telecasters are something that I, I really love. I really love the Telecaster. I fall in love with Telecasters like years back, like you know, probably about 10 years back. And I've I've um, acquired this uh, sound that the Tele make. And this guitar does that, you know. Uh, it, it, it gets really twangy and really country-ish <laughs> if, you, if you tweak it right, you know, if you play it right. So guitar is available in Davis Guitar Singapore. So if you're in Singapore, just pop on down and give you a try. If you're not in Singapore, email Jeanette. Okay, so uh, Davis Guitar is the uh, distributor for Bacchus Guitars in in Singapore. So just email to her and she will reply. All right. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to this channel. Press that bell for notification of future videos and be part of patrons to support this channel. I would appreciate it. I thank all my patrons for the wonderful love the support and the friendship. Thank you guys. So in the meantime, you guys please take care of yourself. Sayonara.